Hello, my name is Ivar Eide. I am a consultant doctor at Akershus University Hospital. This information video provides dietary advice for persons on dialysis. It is a collaboration between the Norwegian National Association for Kidney Patients and Organ Transplant Recipients, shortened LNT, and Akershus University Hospital. The project has received financial support from the Dumb Foundation. Patients with advanced kidney disease should eat foods low in salt, potassium, and phosphate. Therefore, we recommend you to limit intake of many of your regular food items or even replace them with other foods. So, what can you eat? This video provides basic dietary advice for persons on dialysis. For more comprehensive advice, we recommend the book Dietary Advice for Persons with Chronic Kidney Disease that LNT made a few years ago. Or you may wait a few months and buy a new cookbook tailored for persons with advanced kidney disease. Both books are in Norwegian only. Removal of fluid is reduced in kidney failure and fluid may accumulate in the body. It is important to limit fluid intake and this will be very difficult to achieve if you are constantly thirsty. The concentration of salt in the circulation is the main stimulus for the thirst center in the brain. A high salt concentration triggers thirst, while reduced salt intake will eventually reduce thirst. Also keep in mind that fluid is not only what you drink. Everything that is liquid at room temperature is fluid. Ice cream melts at room temperature and is fluid. Yogurt is also fluid. So go easy on foods containing salt or fluid. Many food items contain a lot of salt without tasting particularly salty, especially ready-made foods, where salt is used to enhance taste and increase shelf life. There is also a lot of hidden fluid in several food items, including dishes containing a lot of fluid like stews, soups, and sauces. Some fruits and vegetables, such as cucumber, for instance, are almost pure water. Also keep in mind that hot drinks like coffee and tea are liquids that increase thirst, while really cold drinks reduce thirst. Large sips of water prevent thirst only for a short time. It is better to use small cups and small sips of cold water. You may also use ice cubes, sugar-free chewing gum or sugar-free candy to reduce thirst. Your doctors spend a lot of time assessing your dialysis plan, including what is sufficient dialysis time to remove waste products and excess fluid in your case. Since the thirst center in your brain responds not only to salt concentration in the blood, but also to any sudden change in blood pressure, you should not remove fluid too quickly during dialysis because your blood pressure might drop, and then you will feel unwell and you may experience thirst. If your weight is 50 kilos and you receive four hours of dialysis, we can remove 2.4 liters of fluid without expecting a drop in blood pressure. If your weight is 90 kilos, we can remove 4.3 liters during a four hour dialysis session without experiencing drop in blood pressure. Phosphate excretion is reduced in kidney failure, and phosphate may accumulate in the body and contribute to osteoporosis and blood vessel calcification. Therefore, you should limit intake of foods rich in phosphate. This is difficult to achieve as most foods contain phosphate. Foods with a high protein content such as meat, fish, eggs, lentils, beans and nuts are also rich in phosphate. You need protein, and therefore you should primarily focus to avoid other sources of phosphate in your diet. Phosphate is used as an additive to increase shelf life in many food items. For instance, there is more phosphate in fish fingers than in fresh fish. The same goes for ready-made meat products. Canned or frozen foods, cereals, pastry, liver pate, cola, iced tea, and dairy products such as milk, yogurt, and cheese are all rich in phosphate. Since phosphate is found in almost all food items, 
most persons on dialysis use phosphate binders to reduce phosphate uptake during meals. It is important to use this medication in a correct manner for it to be efficient. It should be taken just before you start eating your meal. Potassium excretion is reduced in kidney failure and potassium may accumulate in the body and cause arrhythmias and in rare cases cardiac arrest. Therefore, you should limit intake of foods rich in potassium. This is difficult to achieve as most foods contain potassium. Fruits and vegetables are healthy, but many of them contain a lot of potassium. Dried fruits and juices and smoothies made from tropical fruits are particularly rich in potassium. You should limit intake of potassium-rich fruits like banana, orange, and mango. Products made from potatoes contain a lot of potassium. Other sources rich in potassium include chocolate, coffee, brown cheese, nuts, lentils, beans, licorice, beets, avocados, Brussels sprouts, some meat products like bacon, and green leafy vegetables like spinach. Many use saltine, that is potassium chloride, to replace table salt, sodium chloride. This is not a good idea for dialysis patients because your potassium level can become very high. Several drugs have increased circulating potassium levels as a side effect. If you receive such drugs, your doctor will monitor your potassium level closely. So, what can you eat? Persons on dialysis should have a varied diet. You may eat some food items rich in salt, phosphate, or potassium, but only very small amounts. Apples, pears, and grapes contain less potassium than other fruits. You may drink apple juice. Berries contain less potassium than fruits. You can eat quite a lot of most vegetables, such as lettuce, cauliflower, cabbage, peppers, and onions. Garlic and all spices apart from salt also works well. You should rather eat whole grain bread than loaf, biscuits, and pastry. Replace butter with olive oil when possible. Rice and pasta works well. You need proteins, and fresh fish, lean meat, and eggs are good options to provide proteins without risking high phosphate intake. Thank you for listening.